just about as much as I can fit in brassicas to go to the plot. Morning, it's a beautiful blue sky, gorgeous weather and let me show you what I got to plant out today and squeeze in. Hmm. So all of these are different types of brassicas so I've got the fun of finding the room in different beds. So this will take me a few hours. I'll show you when I'm done. So in here is broccoli at this end and cauliflower at the other end. All netted to keep the butterflies out. So at this end, this the front third is Cavalanera kale and the rest is purple spread and broccoli. And here we have kalets for most of it and the last two rows at the end are Brussels sprouts. And of course closer to the shed there is a bed that's got cabbage in. I'm happy with the progress I've made today. I've got all the brassicas in and I've watered them in. They're netted and protected. Okay, I still haven't sown any parsnip or carrots and I haven't finished off the potatoes in the pots, but oh well, it's a good day's work. So I'm going to go home and have a nice cold ice folly because it's been beautiful and sunny today. I hope the weather's been nice for you and I hope you don't get a frost. But I think these brassicas should survive because they've been in a cold greenhouse and they I grew them onto a good size so fingers crossed. And if a few die, well I planted that many out that that won't matter much. Bye for now. Good morning. It's I don't know, about half past eleven again and I've come down to the plot. I want to finish off putting the um, shallot potatoes in the last three tubs. I want to sow parsnips and carrots and I need to thoroughly water the plot. It is overcast, you know, cloudy, bit of a breeze. The sun's trying to come out, so it is cooler, but uh, the soil is very dry. It hasn't rained in ages. So let's crack on. So yesterday I didn't come down and water, but I did water the day before. So these cabbages are fine. And these kalets, and well, all the brassicas that I've planted, like the cauliflowers and all that, they're all looking great. Even the ones that were planted out two days ago. So I'm going to give them a good water as well.
So this is uh, the bed all prepared after using this fourth garden garden tiller attachment. Lovely fine soil. So yeah, that will be just right. Now I need to mark my rose, water it, and then sow some. I think it's carrots that's going in here, but it might be parsnips. So I use this head for my multi-tool and that's how I made this drill, I've watered it and now I'm sowing my carrot seeds in one of these. It has different numbers so that the different numbers refer to different hole size, so for tiny seeds. And then I sprinkle them along. I'm actually using a lot less than if I sprinkled by hand. Then I just use this and pull a little bit of soil over where I sowed the seeds. So that's a whole bed of carrot sown the spacing of a plank in between but let me show you I don't know if you can see all these plastic bits here and along here I picked those out of the, this bed so the amount of soil not soil, but of plastic that was in amongst the soil. It was ridiculous. But you get used to picking it up, so I'm going to pick it up off the path and put it in a plastic bag to be able to take home and put it in. Slowly we'll remove all the waste plastic from this pot. On to the next bed. I don't know why I haven't used this little cedar before, it's great the fun of putting the unused seeds back in the packet. So this is what I've sown in this bed. It's Nance 2. So hopefully I won't forget what I've sown or what variety I've sown in this bed. And this is where I sowed the carrots. As you can see there's black plastic on that. Well, I was watching, I can't remember which channel it was, another YouTube channel, and the seeds need warmth to germinate and moisture, but they don't need light. So if I check it every day, and once I see the carrots have germinated, then I can whip off the black covers and put the netting down. So let's see if this will keep the moisture in. So here I'm going to be sowing parsnip hollow crane, but unlike the carrot seeds, these seeds are a lot bigger so they'll need a different number on the 
seed our will so that they can come out. Well, that's the hollow crane parsnip. I've seen maybe a third of a bed. Next time I'll try and get to the rest of it. But I thought it was better to get some soon, better than none. So I watered it before I sowed and after. I've covered it in the black plastic and like the carrots, I will keep an eye on it. And I'm hoping that that will help it germinate. So this is my plan for 2021. But I need to print out a colour version of it. And like a lot of other people, I've got one of these seed cases. Well, that's me done today. So I've done part of the parsnips, all the carrots, the last three uh, tubs of Charlotte potatoes, done some weeding and picked up some bits of plastic. It's amazing how quickly the time goes. Well, I'm going to go home now. Bye for now. Some lovely blossom on the tree. And on this one. Here's hoping we have no frost. Well, I'm back down the allotment today. It's about 19 degrees at the moment. Head for hat because what was it? I think it was last week. I managed to get sunburnt. So I've got to be a bit more careful. So I need to water the carrots and the parsnips that I covered. You know, I sowed and covered last time. I've had a little peek. I can't see any seedlings, but I want to make sure that the, there's moisture. There, you know that it's kept in. Um, I need to sow the rest of the parsnips if I'm going to sow any more. Um, I need to put this back up on the shed. It's a maximum and minimum thermometer but I had to take it home at one point in the winter because water had got into it and so I took it home. It dried out and it's working fine so it can go back on the shed. Um, I need to weed the garlic and onion bed and I might pull out some of the brassicas that have gone over and tidy up you know some of the messy paths you know we all have a messy area we need to tidy up I have a few of those but gorgeous weather nobody else down here today but I, w I didn't come down yesterday so um, that's why I quickly checked on the parsnips and carrots so fingers crossed that those germinate because you need warmth to the germinate not light as soon as they come up then I'll, I'll take the covers off but yep here's hoping I don't get sunburned let's crack on No, shouldn't really use scissors for the screwdrivers in the car.
You see this onion bed? It's only got a few weeds, so I'll start with that. But after that, I need to do the leeks. Not leeks, the garlic. That's quite weedy. And I'll also give it a feed. And then once I've weeded, I'll then water these two beds. Well, I'm gonna trim this path so that the grass next to the fence doesn't get too long. Well I managed to trim along the front, along here. And three quarters of the way along here. And then it ran out of battery. So I decided not to finish weeding the garlic bed. I'm just going to wa water the garlic bed, bread, bed, <laughs> and the onion bed and then I'm going to go home because it's just too hot. I can always weed the garlic bed on another day. Bye for now.